Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with another Xbox Game Pass weekly quest guide. So we've got a quest today for the game The Escapists 2. This is going to be worth 50 rewards points and it's good through next Tuesday the 17th. We've got to trigger one lockdown within the game. This is a prison based game so you want to uh, yeah you want to basically cause a ruckus that causes a lockdown and we'll have to go through the first section of the tutorial in order to do this so we'll have a few different steps where we move around the prison and collect some items and uh, ultimately get up into the ventilation system which causes a lockdown. Alright, so we'll go ahead and press A to get started. I should say this will probably take us about 10 minutes or less to finish the tutorial section and, uh, and trigger that lockdown that we need to trigger. Once you start up, you'll have a bunch of information about new add-ons that are available to the game. Basically, you can just kind of press A a whole bunch of times to move through all of these little announcements. We don't really need to do anything with those. And we'll press A to play a game. We'll get another announcement. You can press A and then we'll press A one more time to start a new game. All right, so you start out on the beach here and basically you're sort of telling a, a friend about the time when you were in prison once upon a time. I guess he's theoretically escaped at this point and he's no longer in prison. You can press A to skip the rest of that cutscene and we'll start out during the night, during the lights out period. And the way that this tutorial works is uh, Robinson is kind of at the upper left and he's walking you through all of the things that you need to do. So the first thing you'll do is highlight the desk and take all of the items out of that desk. And then he says to press Y and then put the two items together by pressing A on each of them to equip them. So we'll do that with the sock and the soap here, and then we'll go up to the craft option and combine those two things together and make a soap sock. I don't know what you call that, so that we could smack somebody with it in a little while. You'll see that coming up in just a minute. All right, the roll call is coming up next. So the next thing you wanna do is head out of your cell and join in with the roll call with the the two security guards and the three guys that are over to the left, the three other prisoners that are over to the left. All right, so we'll just move over to the left here and join in with everybody else. The sock mace, that's what it's called. All right, so the guards will make a couple of announcements and then they'll go in and start checking cells and different things. And at this point, you can head down the stairs where the green arrow will indicate that you need to be going. And head down to the lower right, and there's a fella in here. You need to have your sock mace selected. Like it says there, you can hit your right bumper to select it. And then you'll use the right trigger to knock out Chuck, who's standing here. And you can check his pockets by pressing A and then take the evidence key away from him. Head over to the left and open up the box that's at the lower left, the desk, by pressing A. You can take the pickaxe, collect that. Then we're going to head back upstairs, again just following the green arrow to get back up there again. And we're going to head into the cell at the upper left that's close to the office that's there. And you want to stand next to the bed and hold down the A button to pick up the sheet that's on the bed. All right, once you've got the sheet, you can head down to the lower left of the cell. It should be highlighting the uh, bars there. So select your sheet by pressing the right bumper, highlight the sheet, and press X to use. And then we're going to hold down the A button to put it on there. So now we've got the, uh, the bars covered up and now we can select our pickaxe with the right bumper and use that to start making some, taking some swings at the wall here. We're not going to be able to completely open up the wall. I think you can get it 50% done and then he kind of gets tired. So he needs to uh, go grab some food to refill his energy. So follow the green arrow to the mess hall, go down the stairs again.
and up towards the top and you'll be able to grab a tray of food, pressing A to take the tray, and then go over and sit down next to Bob here. All right, so we've got more free time now, so let's head back upstairs and continue working on that wall. So we're just following the green arrow again, going right back into that same cell. Make sure you've got your pickaxe equipped. If you need to, you can hit the right bumper to cycle over to it and press X to select the pickaxe. Then we're gonna press X to use it again and keep chipping through that cell wall. All right, now we've got it completely cleared out, so we're going to open the desk at the upper right with A and take out the cutters and the adrenaline shot and add those to our inventory. Now we're gonna hold the A button down, pick up the desk, and then you wanna move it to this uh, sort of center spot with the dashed lines on it and set the desk down there. That's directly underneath the vent that we need to get into. If you put it down in the wrong place, you can just pick it up again and move it if you need to. The next thing we need to do is get this adrenaline shot and press X to consume it. We also need to climb on top of the desk that you moved. So there we go, I've used my adrenaline shot. Now I'm going to select the cutters and press X to start cutting the vent. And you have to do this twice. It's very similar to breaking through the wall that we did just a minute ago. Now press A to go up through the vent, go over to the right, and we're gonna use the cutters one more time on this second vent over to the right. And we are just about to trigger a lockdown here. All right, so as soon as you press A to drop down through the vent, that is when the lockdown should get triggered and your weekly quest should complete at that point. So there we go, that's the 50 rewards points that we were looking to get and that is gonna do it for the Escapists 2. We've got quest guides available here on the channel for all of the monthly quests, all of the weekly quests and many other rewards things that are going on where you can earn points. Thanks for watching guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for